Now let's look at zero index. So when, what I mean by zero index is when the power is zero. So say for example here, if, I, if A is the base and I have a power of zero, the outcome will always, always will be one. Okay, so if I have two to the power of zero, this will be one. If I have 103 to the power of zero, this will also be one. Okay, if I have 0 0.00351 to the power of zero, this will also be one. Whatever to the power of zero will be one. That's all you need to remember here, guys. Okay, very easy, isn't it? So trying to remember that, what do you think three to the power of zero is? One, because anything to the power of zero is one. Three A, the whole thing to the power of zero, what's that? It's gonna be one, because we're powering zero to this whole thing, anything to the power of zero is one, so that answer is one. Now this one is different, this one is different to the previous question, because it's three A to the power of zero. And when I don't have brackets, power of zero is only for the A. Okay, so we're not powering three as well. So it's gonna be three times A to the power of zero, if I like to separate that out. It's not three A to the power of zero, it's just A to the power of zero. And you can see that A to the power of zero is one. So three times one is three. See the difference with that previous question? So see how we have brackets here? So here, this, is, this whole thing is to the power of zero. And here, only three is to the power of zero. So that one, the whole thing to the power of zero is one, two stays, two is just two, and then we have three to the power of zero, which is also one. So we simply have negative one, because one, this is just two, isn't it? So one minus two is negative one, and that's the answer. A to the power of zero plus B to the power of zero plus C to the power of zero, anything to the power of zero is one, so that will be one, that will be one, and that will also be one. One plus one plus one, is three. So zero here is to the power, two is to the power of zero. This whole thing is to the power of zero. Three is to the power of zero. So watch out for those that are not have, that don't have a power of zero. So here, it's gonna be three times one, that's gonna be one. That whole thing to the power of zero is one. Three to the power of zero is one, and the two is left. So we have that three, plus one plus, this is two. So three plus one plus two is six. Okay, hopefully this is all simple guys. Just remember, anything to the power of zero is one. But you have to be very careful of which ones are to the power of zero. Okay, make sure you don't just say it's one, no matter what. All right, 